Okay, here we go. Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am presenting as part of the Women of Wisdom of the Sage and Sassy Society. Is that just a fun name or what? Super fun. So um, this is a presentation for one of the many play shops that's available to your SAS group. We're going to make a handout together and then I'm going to guide you through the activity. My name is Sandy Scott. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a wife and a mom, and I love doing collaborative projects with people, so this has been a really fun adventure for me to work with this group. And I also love doing creative things. So my hope for you is today as we go through this, you have some fun being really curious and playing with this tool. For me, one of the reasons why I love this Life Wheel tool is it really helps me build more of my own awareness when I'm having a really great day, it also builds some awareness of something that's just feeling off or crooked or wobbly or just like doesn't feel good. This is a tool that can help me to name that. It's fun to do for myself. It's really fun to do with another person so you can share your insights with each other. And it's also a great tool to have with your family. So I wanna go ahead and introduce this tool to you. I'm gonna have you make your own worksheet with me as we go through this. Um, so first thing you'll need is a pad of paper and some markers. The more markers, the more color, the more fun. And we're going to start out, um, this is going to be a five-step process. So the first step is to actually make your wheel. So we're going to draw it together, and the way we're going to start is draw a big wheel or a circle, and then we're going to cut it into eight wedges, kind of like a blueberry pie or pepperoni pizza, whatever you like. So the first thing is to draw the wheel. The second thing we're going to do is label each of the outside edges with um, some kind of label. So I'm going to recommend the way to label your wheel. Of course, you can change it any way you want. So let's start by calling it the Wise Women's Life Wheel. You can name it the Bertha wheel, the Gretchen wheel, your family wheel, um, but we'll go ahead and call it a kind of a life wheel. So next we're going to go ahead and rate each outside edge of the wedge. So we've got eight wedges, so I've got eight labels that I recommend you use. So the first one is purpose. Now change the colors you can. Purpose, next comes money. And then family. If you want to adapt this, you could draw a dotted line through here and make part of it family and the other part friends, if you want to. Then we'll do, uh, what do we do next? Health. And then we'll do romance. Before you get all excited about romance and what that means to you, you can also name this passion. Then we have faith. I'm running out of some room there. Then we have recreation. And then finally, home. So step one is you create your wheel. Step two is you're gonna label each of the outside edges of each wedge. Then label three is we're gonna actually rate each of these wedges on a scale of one to 10 with your level of satisfaction. And here is a really critical part. It's really important that for each wedge, you define it in a way that is meaningful to you. And it's also important to do it in a way that you're not judging yourself. So I'll give you an example. Earlier in my life, I used to think of health as being purely physical. Like what's my weight? Um, am I going on walks? Really managing my physical weight. Now, when I think of health, I think of it 50-50, meaning 50% is physically, how well am I taking care of myself with sleep and exercise, nutrition, but the other half for me now is actually about mindset. So am I feeling optimistic? Am I feeling positive? Am I feeling in a slump? Am I feeling um, discouraged? So health to me is 50-50 about my mental health and physical health. 
you can define these in any way you want. You get to define what health means to you. You get to find passion, romance. Maybe it's a relationship that you're in. Maybe it has nothing to do with relationship. Maybe passion for you has more to do with a hobby or an interest in something you like to do. So the way you go through here is rate each wedge your current level of satisfaction from one to 10. So the way it would look is like purpose, uh, if it was a three, it might be like that. Money could be a five, I might put it there. If you broke this into two different wedges, you might say friends is a seven, and, um, or maybe that's family, let's say family is a seven, and friends, you might be feeling, say, disconnected, like I haven't reached out or called someone, so that might be a two. Again, no judgment, you're just being really curious about your current level of satisfaction with this part in your life. Health, uh, maybe it's a nine, you've gotten outside and taken a few walks. Passion, maybe you've got an idea about something you want to do but haven't quite started yet. Faith, um, there could be a sense of um, maybe meditation is something that you had been doing and haven't lately, so just being aware of what supports your faith and connected to source. Recreation, you know, maybe it's a seven, and maybe your home is a space of ten. So step one, you create your wheel. Step two, you label it. Step three is you rate them. And then step number four is actually being really curious to then sit back and look at it and allow yourself to be curious and simply notice. So as you look at it without judgments, you might notice that if this was a wheel on your car, it would be a really bumpy ride, right? So it would be like, you get my point. On the other hand, you might have a wheel um, where it goes, you just have a bunch of fives. And if that's true, what life might feel like is imagining that being a wheel in your car would be a smooth ride, though it would take quite a few iterations to get where you're going. So it would take a fair bit of work, but it would be a smooth ride. If you had maybe like bunch of tens here and then some threes here. What you might feel like in life is like there's a sense that things are going well and then kerplunk. It's going well, kerplunk. It's going pretty good and then kerplunk. So again, you can use your wheel almost as a metaphor to imagine what it feels like in your day. So again, you created the wheel, you rated the edges, you um, or labeled the edges, then you rated them. Four has got really curious, what did you notice? And then step five is to actually choose one of these wedges that you want to experience more satisfaction in. And here's the, the game changer. It's not necessarily the wedge with the lowest number. It's not the wedge that um, someone thinks you should get better at. It's not any shoulds. It's really coming from that place of noticing what do you want more of. So you might have a wedge that, um, say romance was a seven, and you want more of that. What you would do next is actually get another sheet of paper and number one to 25, and you would actually brainstorm yourself or with a partner, what are 25 things I could do to increase my sense of passion? They can be big, crazy things. They can be little baby steps that you take. This is a really fun part to do with a partner. So you can take turns, like one person come up with two ideas, then you come up with two. Then your buddy come up with two, and then you come up with two. And you go down to you come up with 25. And after you come up with 25 possible actions to increase that sense of passion, then you look them over and just kind of open your heart and allow yourself to consider what's one thing you'd be willing to do in the next 48 hours. Smaller steps are better, and then if you're working with a partner, you could even support each other as an accountability partner. Like, how would you like that person to support you in taking that one action? So, this is the Wise Woman's Life Wheel. It's really fun. Again, it can help build, uh, for me, it builds my own awareness about uh, what the snapshot is in my current life. It can be a great conversation starter with friends, and it's just really fun to do. So have fun.